Can Niger make the tough decision of kicking U.S. troops out knowing what it can lead to? The U.S. can't let the insult of rejection slide. It is always ready to oppose a nation with sanctions or a cold war. But knowing this, Niger still made U.S. troops leave Niger. Okay, we give them aid. Aid for what? Actually, we give them aid to keep repressive regimes in power. That's all. Okay, we're not giving them aid for much more except a little bit of infrastructure to make sure those raw materials get to the ports and aren't gotten out of the ground. But for the most part, we give repressive regimes money and power and guns to keep that system going. This is what it's fundamentally about. All the hypocrisy about transparency and democracy and bullshit like that, it's all bullshit. You know? And at least the Chinese don't enter into that bullshit. They say, we don't care about the whole political environment, we just give the money. But why did Niger do it? Why, after France, was the US forced to leave? Let's find out. Niger has decided to kick the American troop out. This recent decision to expel American troops from its territory marks a significant turning point not only for the nation itself but also for the broader geopolitical landscape of the Western Sahel region. This bold move signifies Niger's unwavering commitment to asserting its sovereignty and taking control of its destiny, signaling a departure from reliance on external powers. The expulsion, announced immediately, resonates as a powerful statement of African nations' growing determination to shape their futures independently, free from external interference and influence. The decision to expel American troops is not made in isolation, but against a backdrop of escalating tensions between Niger and the United States. These tensions have highlighted a broader geopolitical tension, where each move carries profound implications for the balance of power in the region. Niger's firm stance sends a clear message that it will no longer tolerate interventions that compromise its autonomy and sovereignty. This move challenges the status quo and asserts Niger's right to chart its course, irrespective of external pressures. As Niger asserts its sovereignty, it joins a chorus of African nations seeking to redefine their relationships with external powers on their terms. This symbolic gesture holds significance beyond its immediate implications, serving as a beacon of hope for other nations in the region striving for greater autonomy. It reflects a broader trend of African nations increasingly asserting themselves globally and demanding recognition as equal partners in international affairs. Let's evaluate the situation in detail to get a better understanding. The recent press conference held by the National Council of Homeland Protection emerges as a pivotal moment, catalyzing a seismic shift in Niger's foreign policy landscape. With a resolute demeanor, Niger's leadership conveyed an unmistakable message, a firm rejection of Western military presence, notably that of the United States. Against a backdrop of simmering discontent and growing calls for sovereignty, this declaration resonates as a bold reaffirmation of Niger's demand for autonomy and self-determination. During the press conference, National Council of Homeland Protection members articulated their stance with clarity and conviction. They stressed Niger's historical struggle for independence and emphasized the need to safeguard the nation's sovereignty in the face of external encroachment. The message delivered was not merely a denouncement of foreign military presence but a reaffirmation of Niger's right to chart its course of free from external interference. The timing of the press conference is significant, coming at a juncture when tensions between Niger and the United States had reached a critical juncture. It serves as a decisive response to perceived infringements on Niger's autonomy and a rallying cry for national unity in the face of external pressures. By taking a stand in such a public forum, Niger's leadership sends a clear signal to both domestic and international audiences. The era of passive acquiescence to foreign influence is over. Moreover, the press conference represents a strategic move to consolidate domestic support for Niger's foreign policy stance. By articulating its position with transparency and conviction, the government seeks to galvanize public opinion behind its decision and foster a sense of national pride and unity. The message resonates with political elites and ordinary citizens who have long yearned for a more assertive stance on the world stage. At its core, the press conference marks a defining moment in Niger's quest for self-determination, 
It symbolizes a break from the legacy of colonialism and neo-colonial influences that have shaped the nation's trajectory for decades. By reclaiming control over its foreign policy, Niger asserts itself as a sovereign actor on the global stage, deserving of respect and equal footing in international relations. In the aftermath of the press conference, the repercussions are felt not only within Niger, but across the broader Western Sahel region. Other African nations take note of Niger's bold stance, drawing inspiration from its unwavering commitment to sovereignty and self-determination. The event sparks conversations and debates about the role of external powers in shaping African destinies, igniting a renewed sense of agency and empowerment among nations in the region. But what does this decision highlight? Are there reasons behind it that are not obvious? The road to Niger's expulsion of American troops is paved with a complex history of external pressures and post-colonial entanglements that have shaped the nation's quest for autonomy. Rooted in a legacy of colonialism and subsequent geopolitical interests, Niger's journey towards sovereignty has been fraught with challenges and compromises. From France's colonial rule to America's strategic pursuits, external forces have often wielded influence over Niger's affairs, dictating its trajectory and limiting its autonomy. However, with its recent bold action, Niger signals a definitive break from this historical pattern. Asserting its independence and challenging the narrative of dependency and subjugation that has long defined its relationship with external powers. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. France's colonial legacy looms large in Niger's history, shaping its socio-political landscape and leaving a lasting imprint on its trajectory towards independence. As part of French West Africa, Niger endured decades of colonial rule marked by exploitation, oppression, and cultural assimilation. The legacy of French colonialism continues to influence Niger's governance structures, economic policies, and cultural identity, underscoring the enduring impact of external forces on the nation's development. Following independence in 1960, Niger found itself navigating a complex web of geopolitical interests with various global powers vying for influence in the region. The Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union further complicated Niger's quest for sovereignty, as it became a battleground for competing ideological agendas. The United States, in particular, viewed Niger as strategically significant due to its uranium reserves and its proximity to other volatile regions in Africa. As a result, Niger became enmeshed in America's strategic calculations, often at the expense of its autonomy and self-determination. In the post-Cold War era, Niger continued to grapple with external pressures and interventions as global powers sought to assert their influence in the region. The proliferation of transnational threats such as terrorism and organized crime further exacerbated Niger's vulnerability to external interference as foreign powers justified their military presence under the guise of combating these threats. Despite aspirations for sovereignty and self-governance, Niger found itself constrained by the agendas of external actors, perpetuating a cycle of dependency and subjugation. However, with its recent expulsion of American troops, Niger sends a clear message that it refuses to be a pawn in the geopolitical games of external powers any longer. This decisive action represents a bold assertion of Niger's sovereignty and a rejection of foreign interventionism. By reclaiming control over its territory and asserting its right to self-determination, Niger challenges the narrative of dependency and subjugation that has long characterized its relationship with external forces. In doing so, Niger emerges as a symbol of resilience and agency, inspiring other nations in the region to assert their autonomy and chart their destinies free from external interference. The historical aspects do make sense, but what has now motivated Niger to take action? Has anything happened recently? Central to Niger's bold stance is the contentious issue of American military presence within its borders, particularly epitomized by the sprawling drone base in Agadez, valued at over $110 million. This base is a physical manifestation of America's entrenched interests in the region, serving as a hub for surveillance and counterterrorism operations. However, Niger's leadership vehemently opposes such presence, arguing that it not only violates international law, but also infringes upon the nation's sovereignty and constitutional rights. 
The establishment of the drone base in Agadez represents a significant escalation of America's military footprint in Niger and the broader Sahel region. Positioned strategically to monitor and respond to security threats from neighboring countries, the base reflects America's strategic calculations in combating terrorism and safeguarding its regional interests. However, Niger's leadership views the base as a symbol of neo-colonialism, a stark reminder of the nation's subjugation to foreign powers and a violation of its territorial integrity. The contentious nature of the American military presence in Niger is highlighted by the lack of transparency and consultation in its establishment. Nigerian authorities argue that the decision to host the drone base was made without adequate consultation or consent from the government or the local population, further exacerbating tensions and eroding trust between Niger and the United States. This perceived lack of respect for Niger's sovereignty fuels resentment and strengthens the resolve of Niger's leadership to reclaim control over its territory. Moreover, Niger's leadership contends that the presence of American troops undermines the nation's efforts to assert its autonomy and sovereignty on the global stage. By allowing foreign military forces to operate within its borders, Niger risks being perceived as a client state or a proxy for Western interests, undermining its credibility and agency in international affairs. The expulsion of American troops thus serves as a resounding rebuke to what Niger perceives as a neo-colonial intrusion into its affairs, reaffirming its commitment to charting its course free from external interference. Beyond the geopolitical implications, the issue of American military presence in Niger carries significant economic and social ramifications. While the base in Agadez may bring economic benefits to the local community, in the form of jobs and infrastructure development, it also raises concerns about environmental degradation, cultural disruption, and the militarization of civilian spaces. Moreover, the militarization of Niger's territory risks exacerbating existing tensions and fueling resentment among local populations, potentially undermining stability and security in the long run. In confronting America's military footprint, Niger asserts its right to self-determination and autonomy, challenging the narrative of dependency and subjugation that has long characterized its relationship with external powers. The expulsion of American troops sends a powerful message that Niger will not tolerate foreign intrusion into its affairs and will defend its sovereignty at all costs. As Niger asserts its independence and reclaims control over its territory, it sets a precedent for other nations in the region to assert their autonomy and sovereignty, reshaping the geopolitical landscape of the Western Sahel in the process. So, what impact will this all have internationally? Niger's expulsion of American troops sends shockwaves beyond its borders, resonating across the geopolitical terrain of the Western Sahel and beyond. Against Russia's expanding influence in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso, the region becomes a stage for a dominance contest between global powers, with the United States and Russia at the forefront. This unfolding scenario evokes memories of the Cold War era, as African nations find themselves unwittingly drawn into a new struggle for control and influence. The Western Sahel's strategic significance has intensified in recent years, as geopolitical players vie for supremacy in a region rich in resources and strategic importance. Russia's growing presence in Mali and Burkina Faso, characterized by military cooperation agreements and economic investments, signals its ambition to assert itself as a major player in the region. This move challenges America's long-standing dominance and sets the stage for a geopolitical showdown with far-reaching implications. For the United States, the Western Sahel holds considerable strategic value, not only as a gateway to sub-Saharan Africa, but also as a frontline in the global fight against terrorism and extremism. The presence of American troops in Niger and other countries in the region reflects America's commitment to maintaining stability and countering security threats. However, Niger's expulsion of American troops disrupts this narrative, signaling a potential setback for American interests and influence in the region. The specter of a new Cold War looms large over the Western Sahel as rival powers engage in a strategic game of brinkmanship. The region becomes a battleground for competing agendas and ideologies, with African nations caught in the crossfire of great power competition. The consequences of this geopolitical contest are profound, shaping the destiny of nations and determining the trajectory of regional stability and security. 
caught between competing global powers, African nations face the daunting challenge of navigating the complex web of alliances and rivalries. The risk of being drawn into conflicts not of their making looms large as external powers seek to advance their interests at the expense of African sovereignty and self-determination. In this volatile landscape, the imperative for African nations to assert their autonomy and forge their path becomes increasingly urgent. But did Niger only have an issue with the U.S.? No, there is also another nation that Niger forced to leave its territory, and that is France. France's recent decision to withdraw from Niger serves as a significant precursor to the nation's emerging assertiveness on the global stage. President Emmanuel Macron's efforts to maintain a French presence in Niger despite mounting opposition ultimately proved untenable, as popular discontent and diplomatic pressure compelled France to rethink its strategy. Niger's subsequent expulsion of American troops mirrors this paradigm shift, marking a decisive break from the era of post-colonial subjugation and dependency. For decades, France has maintained a significant military presence in Niger, rooted in a complex web of historical ties and strategic interests. As a former colonial power, France has wielded considerable influence over Niger's affairs, shaping its political landscape and economic policies. However, in recent years, public sentiment in Niger has shifted, with growing calls for greater autonomy and sovereignty in the face of perceived French interference. President Macron's insistence on maintaining a French military presence in Niger faced mounting opposition from both the government and the populace. Critics argued that France's continued presence undermined Niger's sovereignty and perpetuated a legacy of colonialism and neocolonialism. The withdrawal of French forces from Niger reflects a recognition of these grievances and a willingness to heed the calls for greater self-determination. Niger's expulsion of American troops can be viewed as a natural extension of this newfound assertiveness and determination to reclaim control over its territory. By rejecting foreign military presence, Niger asserts its sovereignty and asserts its right to chart its course free from external interference. The parallels between France's departure and Niger's actions highlight a broader trend of African nations asserting themselves on the global stage and demanding respect and autonomy in their international relations. Moreover, France's withdrawal from Niger sends a powerful message to other former colonial powers and global actors about the shifting dynamics of power and influence in Africa. It serves as a reminder that African nations are no longer willing to accept external domination or interference in their affairs and are prepared to take decisive action to assert their independence. France learned a lesson, but the U.S. says that they don't want to leave Niger. One reason they give is the recent uranium deal between Niger and the U.S. This deal is a focal point for the nation's economic relationship with Western powers. This arrangement, however, is not without its controversies, as it highlights the stark economic disparities plaguing Niger. While Niger's uranium reserves play a crucial role in fueling the energy needs of Western nations, particularly those in the nuclear sector, the benefits to the local population are minimal, if not absent. Instead, Niger's people continue to grapple with pervasive poverty, food insecurity, and political instability, raising questions about the equity and fairness of the arrangement. For decades, Niger's uranium deposits have been a coveted resource for industrialized nations seeking to meet their energy demands. Exploiting these resources has generated significant revenue for the government and multinational corporations involved in the extraction and export of uranium. However, the economic benefits of this lucrative industry have failed to trickle down to the majority of Niger's population, who remain mired in poverty and deprivation. The disparity between the wealth generated by Niger's uranium industry and the dire living conditions experienced by its people highlights the inequities inherent in the global economic system. While Western nations reap the rewards of Niger's natural resources, its citizens are left to contend with the consequences of economic marginalization and exploitation. This imbalance perpetuates a cycle of dependency and underdevelopment, exacerbating social tensions and fueling resentment towards external powers. To fight all this detachment is the best idea. Do you think Niger is making the right choice? What would happen if no Western influence were left on Africa? Let us know in the comments section. Will Niger's success begin then? 
Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If so, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.